Hey Kuda Crew, today we are making handprint trees. All we need for today's activity, you're gonna need some textures and no scissors, just a bit of A4 paper. So very first thing that we're gonna need to do, can anyone guess it from the name of what we're making? We need to trace our handprint onto the paper. So paper in front of you, left hand, so my non-dominant, I draw with my right, so I'm not gonna use that one. My left hand's gonna go onto the paper and I want it to sit on there so that the branches, cause that's what part of the tree my hand and my bottom or my wrist are gonna make. It's gonna be the trunk and then the branches of the tree. So I wanna make sure it's on there far enough. So about there, I'm gonna put that on the table. You guys should know by now, I like tracing in black texture. I'm gonna get my texture or pencil, could be for you guys, and I'm gonna trace up and around my hand. Make sure your fingers are all spread out. And back down to the start of the page. So this is gonna be the trunk and the branches of my tree. What I'm gonna do now, oh, I've got texture. Can you see that? Be careful, I've got texture on my hands. They're gonna need a good wash. Next part we're gonna do is we are going to do patterns onto our tree. Now, I like doing mine simple. I often, often just make mine spots and lines. You could draw shapes for yours, but for my pattern today, I'm gonna to do a straight line. Spots and a zigzag. A straight line, spots, and a zigzag. Just like that. And I'm going to continue this all up my tree. So hang on, I'll be back in just a moment. I'm going to finish this so you don't have to sit here for the whole five, ten minutes that it's going to take me to do all of my patterns. And I'll be back in a sec with a finished product. Hang on one moment. All right, so here I have my finished product of my tree trunk with all of my patterns. Now, if you don't want to do patterns, I think they look really good when they're on there. It's up to you though, if you want to just color it in one color, if you want to do a brown tree trunk and make it look kind of a bit more natural, up to you, all right? For me, patterns are happening. Now, what I'm gonna do is make a really colorful tree today. So I'm gonna get my rainbow colors out. <laughs> so here I have got my blue. I've got purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, and green, all right? They are going to be the colors of my leaves. So I'm gonna start with one color, and what I'm gonna do is kind of like a little bit of an oval shape. So I'll do a couple and I'll then show you what it looks like. It's gonna look a little bit funny at first because until we add more, It'll slowly come together the more we fill in our page. Cool. So that's the blue. Little oval shape. It looks just like it's a bit raining on my tree right now. Hmm. That's okay. More colours. So purple, same thing, those little oval shapes. Spread them out. Make it a bit random, all different spots. Purple, kind of want about, you know, eight to 10 of each one. Pink.
black yellow so I'm gonna do a few more of those. I think it makes it look really nice and bright. And then of course my favorite color, green. Gonna make it look a little bit more leafy too so I'm gonna use quite a bit of green to fill in these gaps need a few more colors again so just to fill in the few blank spots I've got a bit more purple maybe another blue or two another orange cool are you ready this is my filled in handprint tree. <laughs> so with this one, you can leave it just as it is. You might like to sign your name down the bottom. I should do mine on there. I'm going to put Ali. Like a true artiste. All right. So you can do your name on there. Uh, another idea is you can actually put it onto backing paper if you have something bigger, like an A3 size paper. And I can show you what that looks like. I'll show you in just a minute. Um, but that's up to you. So remember, patterns, no patterns, totally fine. Those little shapes that you can see, they're just little ovals that I've used to create that tree look. And when you stand back from a distance, it really looks quite effective. So hang on one moment. I'll show you what it looks like on backing paper before we wrap it up. So should you like to put your art onto the backing paper, this is a little bit like what it will look like. So I've stuck my A4 paper here onto A3. So all I did was put a little bit of glue on the back of this in each of the corners and then stuck it on to mount it. If you wanted to do this at home but you don't have A4 paper, the way to do it, especially because you're probably going to have a little bit of a smaller hand than mine, is you can actually cut that paper down a little bit. So cut it down to a smaller size. All right, so you could cut just this part off and a bit down the side. So you've got this left, that whole section. All right, and then with your hand, you trace it onto the new section. When you finish it off, then you can stick it and mount it onto your bit of uncut A4 paper. It's another way to do it. So can't wait to see what you guys come up with with this activity again. Love it. Can't wait to see. Make sure you stick your photos up on Instagram or Facebook. Of course, with mum and dad's permission, use that hashtag kudakids at home and tag Big Four Beacon Resort. Can't wait to see. Good luck, everyone.